talent coach is this the uh is this the best win of the year for your guys uh any win is the best win of the year uh, <laughs> as long as you win I, you know I, i'll take any win it's so hard to get a win in this conference and i think you know that uh, and any coach in this league will tell you that uh, anybody in this league can beat anyone on any given night. And so I was glad we found a way to win, a, a, you know, a very controlled, tempoed game, I thought. A big game for Sam Williams, obviously 20 and 12, but uh, his front court made Yvonne Sajic and his return to action. Also a good game for you guys, 14 and 6 for Yvonne. Tell me about those two guys. Well, I mean, they were doing something a little funky in the first half defensively, and our guys were trying to get adjusted to it. So we just went very simple and, and kind of just went one-on-one inside uh, with Sam early. Uh, you know, I think he had, you know, several of our first baskets of the game uh, just by going one-on-one down there. And, and same thing with the second half. That's kind of how we started off. We went right to him uh, again. And, and, he, and, you know, he's missing some ones I really want him to make on the left side of the, the basket, and we're going to work on that with him. But... A uh, much better game for him than it was on uh, Tuesday, I know for sure. Uh, really proud of him for that. But, uh, you know, we had 13 assists to 8 turnovers. I've been really harping on that stuff uh, with our guys So uh, you know, and our rebounding effort. So uh, really proud of the way we played tonight. I thought it was Mark Howell's maybe best game of the year so far. He had a, te- a season-high 9 points, but also 4 assists for you guys and 4 rebounds. Uh, I felt like he was just really under control today. Uh, he was, you know, he didn't have a, <clears throat> excuse me, he didn't have a very good start to the game, uh, you know, missed two defensive assignments and then turned it over right away, uh, you know, and I'm pretty hard on him about that stuff, and, and I try not to be, but I can't help it, because I, I just, you know, I'm really passionate about what we're doing as a team, and I've been trying to get more help from our bench, and, and he's been a guy I, I really want him to be good, and uh, I think sometimes I feel like our staff wants him to be better than sometimes I feel like he wants to be good. But tonight, you know, once he got through that little first bit of it, uh, I thought he played extremely well. Like you said, under control, uh, ran the stuff that we were supposed to run, and, and then did a nice job defensively for us as well. They've had a nice stretch, they being Wayland Baptist. They beat two ranked teams. They were named the NAI Team of the Week uh, at one point. What have they done recently that's given them success, and how did you guys go about countering that? They're a very good basketball team. You know, they have almost seven, eight guys that average double figures a game, uh, uh, you know, anywhere between 13 and 10 a game. Uh, that's the great thing about their team is, is uh, a lot of people can score, uh, but they spread the wealth. You know, they do a really nice job. They had 16 assists tonight as well of finding each other. Uh, they're a really good inside-out team. They've added a couple bigs at Christmas, uh, and it's really helped them inside. I know that for sure, and they've been really beating up on some teams inside. Uh, luckily, we have a little bit of size inside that, that countered that. Uh, so, I, you know, we just went one-on-one in the post instead of uh, helping off their shooters. Um, you know, and, and then Ruben Lopez, I can't say enough about that kid. Uh, you know, I've seen him for a long time in this league. Uh, he's having the best year he's had uh, since he's been at Wayland, and, and I think this is Ty Harrelson's best team he's had in the three years he's been there. I think it's a well-balanced team. Uh, a lot of guys can beat you, and, and I just thought we did a nice job of controlling the tempo more than anything. Is you know They're a team of runs. They're high energy, high emotion, and uh, we did a very nice job of just staying under control and running our stuff and, and getting the shots we wanted. So I, I was very proud of our team for that because that's a little different than the way we've been playing this season. You know, we, uh, Our team's been averaging 90-plus per game, and to win a game 79-70 is very different than the way we've been playing through the very uh, good chunk of this season so far. To that end, only 12 uh, three-point attempts today. He made three of them, so didn't really rely on the three-point shot today. Is that something that you've stressed recently with this team? Well, you know, I was very disappointed uh, in our game on Tuesday. We took a lot of what we call one-pass threes. Um, you know, and we chartered them. We took 20 of them the other night of our 26 threes, and we only made five of those. And they're low percentage contested uh, shots that their teammates aren't expecting them to shoot, and we're getting beat in transition because of it. Uh, so we kind of talked about it, and and, you know, I, I just told him, hey, we're going to do a l- little better job of, of shot selection. I'm going to sub you out if you're not taking the shots uh, that our team needs to take right now. And we're going to get it corrected right now because it's getting us beat. And, uh, you know, some guys like it, some guys don't. But, uh, you know, this is a team game. And bottom line, we're going to win as a team and we're going to lose as a team. So, you know, we're trying to figure out a different way that's going to help our team right now. And, and, and I thought it worked out in our favor today. Panhandle State coming in on Saturday. I know one of their individuals is the nation's leading rebounder at this point. They've got a very good rebounding team. Tell me about what you've seen from them. You know, Jerry does an extremely good job. Uh, I've known him for, I think, my entire career. Uh, you know, he was at Panhandle State uh, when I was at West Texas, and we would play him every year uh, over at their place, over at our place. And, and so I've had a great relationship with him. He is a really, really, really good basketball coach over there. 
Uh, I've got to see his team play a little bit on tape. He was at our game in person uh, on Tuesday as well, scouting us. Um, but, you know, he's got a guard that's really good. He's one of the league's leading scorers. Uh, you know, and, and, and the big Whitfield that you're talking about uh, can just rebound his tail off. Uh, he's got a really nice team that they can score it in different ways. They're tough. They're blue-collared. Uh, they're, they're a team I really like. I can tell you that right now as an as a outsider, as someone who just enjoys watching basketball. Uh, I like his team, uh, you know, from an outside perspective. And, and they do a nice job of sharing the basketball, and, and, and they're doing a really good job in our league. And, and like I told you on Tuesday, you know, adding Central Christian and adding them to our league I, I think has really helped. Uh, you know, uh, Mac, you went down to Panhandle State uh, as well, and, and that was a really tough game, and that's the tape, uh, you know, we've seen at this stage because that's the most recent one we were looking at. But, uh, you know, they're going to be a tough, tough, tough team to beat. I can tell you that right now, and it's going to be a fist fight on Saturday. All right, Coach, thanks a lot. 79-70, to 70, the final score. Was-